message, at least we can let people know that not everyone agrees with it. Melissa Bryant isn't working on an art project. She's spreading positivity just yards away from where some did what they thought was the same thing, but led to a bit of a tiff. I do respect people's uh, First Amendment rights, freedom of speech or whatever, but one of the things that was written over there was repent or perish. Over the weekend, a group from the Manson Church in Bangor wrote messages in West Market and Pickering Squares as part of its sidewalk scripture campaign. Many messages believed to be hate speech towards the LGBTQ plus community, written directly under the flags of pride. So, Bryant and others are writing their own messages. It's good to see that you have some support. Hate speech is loosely defined by laws any kind of communication that attacks or uses pejorative or discriminatory language with reference to a person or group based on something such as race, religion, sex, or sexual orientation. Bangor City Solicitor Paul Nicholas says cities can either totally allow or totally deny chalk writing. Things, but they can't really pick and choose about the, the message that is allowed to be chalked there. Even if the messages are hateful, but... They can also erase what they want. Washing away messages is exactly what Scott Hall did, until... After asking Hall to stop mopping and leave, Bangor police issued a warning, stating... If I came back to Pickering Square, within the next year, then I would be arrested. Again, mopping away chalk messages is allowed, according to Nicholas, unless... That violated some other law. You know, if they were harassing, if they were being disorderly, those sorts of things. So that's where, that's where you might get into trouble. This is the first time Hall's been confronted by police, but not the first time dealing with this church group. If there's anything I can do to deal with that kind of behavior, to, you know, then I'm going to try to do that. The Bangor Downtown Partnership is meeting Tuesday to discuss the incident further. Hall says he is seeking legal advice. In Bangor, Sam Rogers, News Center, Maine.